Why are there stripes on the American flag? Chapter one, a symbol of the United States. Ring, time for school. Our teacher greets us. Everyone stands. We begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag. Charles raises his hand. Wait, Mr. Gomez, what does that mean? And why do we put our hands on our hearts? Asked Khalil. Great question, says Mr. Gomez. Let's talk about the American flag. The US flag is one of the oldest in the world. Only six countries have flags that are older. Austria, Denmark, Great Britain, the Netherlands, and Switzerland. Mr. Gomez says the flag is a symbol for our country. The United States of America became a country in 1776. People worked together to make new government. They wanted a symbol to show who they were. What is a symbol, Ethan asked. A symbol is something that stands for something else, Mr. Gomez answers. Like a green light means go, said Josie. The 13 colonies. Great Britain once ruled part of what is now the United States. America's fought a war to be a separate country. The Revolutionary War lasted from 1775 to 1783. 13 British colonies became the first 13 states. Chapter two, our changing flag. We learn that in 1777, American leaders decided how the flag should look. They wanted to use red, white, and blue. The red stands for courage, the white stands for being pure and good, and the blue stands for fairness. The leaders also wanted to use star shapes on part of the flag. Our new country was like a new group of stars shining in the night sky. Flag Act of 1777 resolved that the flag of the United States be made of 13 stripes, alternate red and white, that the union be 13 stars, white, in a blue field representing a new constellation. The flag act described the official US flag. Leaders signed the flag act on June 14, 70, 1777. Each year, June 14 is honored as flag day. Mr. Gomez showed us a picture of the first flag. Why are there 13 stars, asked Miles. Mr. Gomez answered, because at first the country had 13 states. But our classroom flag has about a million stars, said Hannah. Well, not quite that many, our teacher says. Each time a new state joined our country, we added a star. Today, we have 50 states and 50 stars. At first, the flag wasn't always made up the same way. One early design put the stars in a circle. Others put the 13 stars in rows. Mr. Gomez asks us what else we see when we look at the flag. Red and white stripes answers. Jamia, we count them. 13, says Emmy seven red stripes and six white stripes. Yes, smiles our teacher. Our flag has 13 stripes to stand for the first 13 states. We say together, nicknames for the US flag include the stars and stripes, the Star Spangled Banner and Old Glory. Chapter three, the Pledge of Allegiance. But we still don't know what all those words mean, says Xavier. Let's look at the pledge carefully, says Mr. Gomez. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. We learned that allegiance means friendship or loyalty. Saying those words is like promising to be a good friend to the flag. 
But how can you be friends with a flag? asked Alex. Our teacher laughs. It's a way of saying you will respect the flag, he says. To show respect to the flag, we follow certain rules. We stand up during the pledge. We look at the flag. We put our right hands over our hearts. That means we are making a serious promise. We keep reading, and to the republic for which it stands. A republic is a kind of government we have, Mr. Gomez explains. In the U US, people vote to choose leaders instead of having a king or a queen. So this line is a promise to be loyal to our country too. Buildings that display the flag on a flagpole follow rules too. The flag should be put up quickly at sunrise and lowered slowly at sunset. If the flag is left up at night, a light should shine on it. Raising the flag only halfway is to honor someone who has died. Let's look closely at the next part of the pledge, said Mr. Gomez. One nation, under God, indivisible. Indivisible means something that can't be taken apart, he explains. He reminds us that we can do more when we work as a team. Like when we all help clean up, says Sasha. Our teacher nods. Our country needs all 50 states, even if we disagree. We stay together. The states are stronger together than apart. The last time the flag changed was July 4th, 1960. A star was added for Hawaii, the 50th state. The United States has had 26 official versions of the flag since the first flag. Mr. Gomez asked Jordan to read the last line with liberty and justice for all. What does liberty mean? asked Mr. Gomez. Becky raises her hand. Being free, our teacher says right, and justice means fairness. What does fairness, fairness mean to you? Getting the same size cookie as my sister, says Grace. Getting equal turns on the monkey bars at recess, Leaf says. Together, we say the Pledge of Allegiance again, and then we go out for recess. The American flag even flies on the moon. Hi, boys and girls. I'm sure some of this sounded so familiar to you. We do the pledge every single day at school, and we've talked about the different parts of the flag, the stripes and the stars. How many of you remember that? Well, I hope when you're out and about, you can spot some American flags around town. They are flying everywhere. And I want you to notice the 50 stars and the 13 stripes and remember what they stand for. Good luck and have fun searching for all those flags around town.